out the hi-hat let's get right into it i'm gonna focus on hi-hats today but first i have to make the melody so these are the chords i'm gonna use for this beat first i'm just gonna create a ghost channel i'm gonna go ahead and mute this i'm gonna use piano for this beat Let's randomize the velocity a bit. I want to double this, maybe do something different here. Nice, nice. Just trying to humanize the notes. Gonna double this up. So I'm going to go right away and put guitar rig on that and try to come up with nice textures. Take off the reverb here. Sounds pretty good. I'm gonna save this preset and then I'm gonna go get another one, try to find something else and then compare. And I could use both if I want too. I'm gonna go with this one. All right, let's put some drums. For the hi-hats, you can always keep it simple and just have that two-step going, that's all right. Some people might think it's boring, but it actually leaves a lot of space for the artist. I'm gonna do a couple of patterns just to show you guys the difference. the spins now quantitize i'm gonna move the notes up and down Get a little roll at the end i'm gonna follow the same chords that i used at the beginning just to keep everything in harmony and with enough space for the artist all right so now let's go into the hi-hats and tweak them out a bit so first of all you can definitely do some rolls just like this play with the velocity when you do those rolls this is the one six and this is a step so it's kind of like it slows down the hi-hats as long as you have that regular two step you can add rolls here and there it's just gonna sound good i'm gonna pitch this down to have that this effect we're gonna come back to the hi-hats i'm gonna probably create two or three patterns you can also play with the out make it sharper actually what if i put a half time Put guitar rig too, I just want to see what it's going to sound like. This has some potential. Perfect. <clears throat> I'm gonna render these audio files and then play with the hi-hat some more. I'm gonna make this unique, change the color so I know what is what. And then I'm gonna go in the pattern. For this one, I wanna do some triplets. So I'm gonna go here and choose the one third of a beat. Sure, this is on paint and then just go like this. So this is nice, but I, you see the snare is clashing with the hi-hats. So what you wanna do is go in the snare, make it unique. And then I'm gonna take off these snares at the beginning. Because if not, it's, it's a bit too much, too many rhythms going on. It sounds pretty good. So I'm going to keep it simple. The rhythm is already changed, so I don't want to overwhelm the artist. Now we're going to do a third pattern. I'm going to make this unique again and give it a different color. And then for this one, I think I'm going to go with the drill types of hi-hats. So you want to be on step. And you can play with the velocity too. And for the 808s, for this pattern, we're going to take some off. There's one thing that we can definitely put on the hi-hats, and that's Looperator. This is the plugin right here, so... It really tweaks out the hi-hat. This is a bit too much. But if I randomize this... You can come up with different types of textures for the hi-hats. What I like doing is taking this one, saving the preset, putting it right under. Then I mute it. Then I go here and I randomize again. And this is crazy too. So then you can automate both of them. And let's say I automate this one to just come when it's here. 
and then I can automate the other one to come right here. Because loop operator sometimes goes a bit crazy, you want to put a limiter on the hi-hat channel just so they don't get too loud. So you see the limiter is working. All right, my camera just died, but let's just hear it from the top. Perfect timing. All right, so we got the loop operator automation here for the drop. We got Omnisphere Mood Bass that gives us another vibe. I'm gonna create a Looperator drop here too. I don't have the 808s coming in right away. I think I like this better. Just building a climax. I'll see you next week with a new tutorial.